But go ahead and answer her question. How might this case be a good reason to override privilege? Well, yes, ma'am. Um, as you know, the primary purpose of a trial is the search for truth. It's what a trial is for. It's to find the true facts of a case so that the law may be applied accurately and then hopefully justice will result. While I admit Miss Royal may have a very real and very strong interest in her privacy, it should not stand in the way of finding out the truth. The truth of what happened out there on that front yard where a man was killed may be sitting in the therapist's notes. Aren't Miss Jeffrey and the jury entitled to know what's in those notes so that they can find out the truth and come to the correct and just result? This may be one of those cases where the value of truth outweighs the value of privacy and the subpoena requesting the record should be upheld and the privilege overridden. That's what the trial judge did and I think I agree. Uh, you mean Ms. Royal loses her privacy? In this instance, yes. I'm concerned that the police investigation did not yield the knife. Miss Jeffrey may be right. There may have been no knife despite Miss Royal's testimony. The rightful answer may be hidden in the notes. How can we permit Miss Royal to claim that her privacy is more important than, the, than finding out the truth? It may even be that it's not the private and confidential relationship with one's therapist she's trying to protect, but her own liability for panicking and shooting an unarmed man. You know, that's a very good point you have there, Joseph. It's excellent, in fact. I was leaning more towards privacy being the more important value for the law in the form of Aunt Connie to protect, but you're making me reconsider. This case is assigned to you, isn't it? Yes, it is. But tell me, why were you leaning toward privacy being the more important value? Well, I've known a good number of people who have gone to counseling and have really benefited from it. For some, it's helped them really change and lead happier lives. That's important. That's very important. Some of them would not have gone unless they were absolutely certain that what they told their counselor was confidential and private. Some of them? Actually, I think that's true for most of us. They wouldn't go get the help they needed if they thought for a moment that what they told their counselor could come out in a courtroom or anywhere else. I mean, court records are public records, right? You're right. Uh, and I agree. But do you really think an individual's interest, uh, let's even say right to privacy, is more important than truth and justice in a court of law? Joseph, Aunt Connie said you were sharp. It's a tough argument you've got there, but it bothers me. It, it undercuts the, dare I say, sanctity of the therapy office. A client or patient needs the guarantee of privacy to disclose their most sensitive and deepest feelings. There may be humiliating experiences or shame for some people to work through and make their peace with. I don't disagree. I really don't. And I credit you with a strong argument, too. But we're dealing with competing social values here. Both are positive. Both are important. But which takes precedence when they clash? 